Monday, Danica Watson, nurse practitioner. Today we are going to do a little bit of a different type of video. I'm going to talk to you about my career and how I got to where I am today. I've had many of you reach out and ask some questions and so I just thought it would be easy if I captured it all here on a video. Go, you know, back when I was in high school, my mom pushed me to find a career that could provide a way for myself, that I didn't need extra support, and if I had to be on my own, I could very well make a way. I could be present for my kids' things, and I could provide for my family. She put me in any and every volunteer program that you could be in to test out different career pathways, and therefore, you know, I, I was being able to experience different things. And the medical field intrigued me. I liked it. It was a uh, fast pace. It was thinking on your toes. And it was something that, that was a huge interest. I'm also a natural caregiver. You can ask anyone in my high school class. I feel like I took care of, you know, my circle of friends really well. Um, and so it just seemed like that was going to be the natural thing to do. I did a lot of volunteer work while I was in high school. My summers were spent in different hospital settings, volunteering in different departments so I could get a feel of things. From there, I also started exploring uh, education in that field. So I took some college classes that were very basic intro to healthcare. You're talking healthcare vocabulary. Um, I got a nursing assistant, um, certified nursing assistant license so I could go work in the nursing home. And I did all of these things to try to help prepare me. I took dual credit classes in high school and I cannot say that that is for everyone. However, my personality and my drive, it worked really well for me going through high school, meaning I did well in those classes. Now I will say once I got to college and I was 18 years old going into junior classes with 20, 21 year old students, it was a culture shock. It, it was difficult, it was a different type of learning and they, the demands from the professors are completely different than you as an 18 year old or as a freshman coming in. So it's something that I had to adapt to, but I, I did that very well. I'm, I'm very mature, I would say. I was very mature for my age. And so it was something I recognized and was able to adapt to. So I chose a university. I researched and researched and researched. Let me back up my mom and I researched several universities in the state of Texas, where I'm from, uh, to figure out what program, medical program would be good. Uh, going into the field, I was going to be a nurse anesthetist. Um, and so we figured out that, the road to that, we backtracked. We found my end goal and then we backtracked the steps to know what I needed to do. And we're talking when I was a sophomore in high school, we were doing all this to prepare the road. Uh, it's not something that you just want to walk into blindly because you don't want to take any classes over in college. You don't want to you know, your time, time is valuable. And so you don't want to waste any time doing things that you don't have to do. So we planned it all out. And when I got to college, when I applied to, let me back up, applied to many universities. When I got into one of the universities, which was Texas Tech that I wanted to go to, I went on my way. Now, while I was there and while I was taking those junior classes as an 18 year old, knowing I had to apply to nursing school, nurse anesthetist was not my top priority at that time. It was nursing school. And so I did all the things, took the classes, applied to nursing school. And I, because I was so prepared, I was able to apply a year into my basics. So I went to actual tech campus for four months and then it was time to apply to nursing school. So I did one year main campus and then I luckily, praise the Lord, got accepted to nursing school. And so I started nursing school there at Texas Tech. Y'all, nursing school's hard, it's trying. Um, it's, it's just a difficult process. Uh, there's a lot to learn in two years, a whole lot to learn. So completed that. I did not know where nursing, like what part of nursing I wanted to do. I just knew that I wanted to take care of people. Through my clinicals, I figured it out, and y'all are gonna laugh, but I chose pediatrics because their bodies are a lot smaller than adult bodies, right? Meaning when you're actually caring for them, when you're when you're doing all the grunt work, it's it's a lot easier on a child than, a, than an adult, and I, I like that. Once I, that was my first little, ooh, that interests me. And then once I started, kids are so resilient. They, they bounce, they mold, they are 
amazing individuals and it was intriguing and it was fun and you don't have to deal with any of the adult world things. You get to play and have imaginary friends and imaginary, you know, places when you're when you're in the hospital you make up all the things and it and it's a lot of fun um, and then to see how how resilient they are and how they can take the worst circumstance ever and completely heal from that it, it's just heartwarming so i went into pediatrics i did icu and then from there i was content i was absolutely content in the icu i moved back home i was working in the icu in dallas and and commuting and loved what i did like still love what I did, but I had a child and things kind of changed and the commute was just not going to work. We were either going to move to the city, which was honestly was never going to happen, or I was going to have to find a different type of nursing to do or a different career. And that broke my heart because I'm having to choose now family or my career, which I love both love so much. Of course, choosing family was not the most difficult thing ever. Um, it's it's natural and, and that that's that's where I'm supposed to be. So how can I have the best of both worlds, right? That was my that's what I sought after. How can I do pediatrics in my hometown and be present and, and there for my family 24-7? So I went back to school to get my nurse practitioner degree. And I had already went back and did a master's degree while I was living in Lubbock and working in the pediatric ICU there. Um, I had a master's in nursing administration and I was teaching because I love this profession so much. So I was teaching at a local college um, part-time. So when I decided to go back for my nurse practitioner, all I had to do was do a post-master's. And so the program was a little shorter. Um, and I did a local uh, program, uh, UT Arlington in Dallas area and received my family nurse practitioner degree. And because I feel like pediatrics is where I, I know the most and it, it is my ultimate passion, um, there was a pediatric nurse practitioner uh, position in my hometown, so it worked out really well. Um, I can do family and I like adults. I know how to take care of adults and I can manage you. I've also gotten many certifications in functional medicine so I can integrate the two. Um, and so you get the best of both worlds with me. But obviously pediatrics is, is my bread and butter. Um, and then everything else is just icing on the cake. So I started planning that if most people ask how I got to where I am and the steps I took, the number one thing I tell them is I planned and I started looking at things from you know as young as freshman sophomore in high school and i've kind of planned it all out so i didn't waste any time driven self-driven knew what i wanted nose down in the books and, and and worked my tail off for it i'm always here and always open for questions if you'd like to know this video ran a little longer than i than i wanted um but but really it's it's good information and i'm always here like i said to help promote and to help push and, and to give you any advice that I can along your journey.